All right, I'm gonna show you an example of how um, I set my otter traps. Again, I don't like to get in the water, so I'm off to the side here. Um, I already dug this out quite a bit before we started recording. This is just a little, you know, a little while, it's kind of boring, but um, this was an otter crossover. Um, I just took a whole bunch of fresh mud and put it all over this canary grass uh, to make it look like it's a real active slide. And dug out um, the bank here a bit. So that it directs them a little bit more because this bank was all flattened down from otters. Um, so I didn't, you know, really have good odds that they would actually use it. So I just wanted to narrow them down a bit. I'm using a Bridger 5. Oh, it's going to be hard to set. Bridger 5 on an 8 foot grounding wire. And I, um, I don't have, well at least not now, I've been looking for a long time, but I don't have access to the um, rebar drowning rods. That's what I would be preferring to use. I, I don't know how guys find them, so this isn't my preferred way, but I got an earth anchor on the on one end of the slide wire. I'm gonna go ahead and get my trap anchored in real good. Pull this tight. Good. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bag of bricks into the deep here. And most important, make sure I'm not connected to it in any way. Or that would not be good. Okay, I'm gonna tuck that shiny wire into the muck here. I find that the white bag really, really seems to attract the otter for some reason. And it just seems really successful for me. So I actually like using that white bag where I can. I'm just going to dig out a spot for my foothold. I'm digging it really deep because we have single digits at night. And so everything's been freezing. And I don't want a layer of ice over my trap. So, put that right in there. Okay, that's that. And then, um, let's see, it looks like my kid stole my gator oil because he was cutting some coyote traps. So that's okay, I got a few other things in this bucket. This is Lennon Super All Call for Otter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here on this slide. And just sort of smear it into the grass here. And then the other one I have is, I don't even know what it is, the label is wore off. It's a otter lure that uh, Justin Rogers at Old South Lures gave me at the last state convention that I saw him at, which was, I don't know, a few years ago. Um, but it smells like something ottery, so that's, I'm gonna use it here. And that should be good. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna worry about the bag over there because I think it's a good attractant. And when the otter comes up, or if he's even coming from the other side, which I have a trap on the other side of the crossover, he should step in it and drown. And um, we have a good chance of getting a double here. So we'll see.